Michelle C. here from A Frugal Homestead. Today we are making a really simple kitchen sewing project. We are going to make a tea towel apron. Now a tea towel can be several different things, um, but it is basically just a large towel that you use in your kitchen. So for this project, I'm using this fun striped towel. It's a little bit thicker than the normal tea towel might be, and it does have um, some piles on the wrong side. Um, but I don't know about you, when I'm in my kitchen, I get really dirty. <laughs> I have to wear an apron every single time. Um, another fun thing about this project is that you could definitely use this outside. If you didn't want to use it in the kitchen, you wanted to use it in your garden. Um, the size of the towel you use could make it so that you can collect your produce or whatever in your towel. So let's go ahead and start. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cute little iron to my towel a little bit. It doesn't have to be really, really well ironed or pressed, um, but I want to take out some of the creases. And you can use your regular iron for this as well. I just have this cute little one that works really well when I'm doing sewing demonstrations like this. So I'm just taking it, pulling out some of those creases, just so it looks a little bit nicer. And you want to make sure when you get that towel that you pull out all of the little tabs that might be on it. So. You know, a lot of towels will come with a tag and has the plastic little tabs. Make sure you get those pulled out. All right, so I have my towel. The other thing you're going to need today, I, uh, you can use ribbon. So I do have some ribbon for your ties. You can use ribbon or you can use twill tape. I really like twill tape. It's a little bit heavier duty um, than, like, say, just a regular ribbon. This is a satin ribbon. I would suggest if you're going to do ribbon that you do something a little bit um, heavier set like a, a grow grain ribbon or something like that. Okay, But it's totally up to you what you use. Use what you have on hand. If you already have a tea towel that you like that you can turn into an apron, do that as well. So this is just some twill tape I had on hand and for me personally I like it my ties to be kind of long. So I'm going to make mine about 45 inches long. So that's just over a yard of twill tape. Um, you could get away with a yard. You just have really um, small ties in the back. And I kind of like to have a little bit hanging over. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to fold our twill tape. So we're going to finish the edges. Because if we keep pulling at this, the twill tape tape will just eventually unravel. Or unravel. You'll do the same thing if you use ribbon. So you just want to finish those edges. So I'm going to fold it once and then fold it again. So I kind of make this little square and I'm just going to sew a box around my little square. So I'll put my needle down in the corner and turn. Same thing on this side. Turn, back stitch, and then I'm going to put an X through the middle. That just kind of helps it stay a little bit better, just to ensure. Oops, off my presser foot. Well, is that it? Okay, got all my little threads here. And there's the end of my twill tape. Now if I have any like hanging over threads, I just fix them like that. Okay, so there's kind of the edge. Now I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Now if you get it at the fabric store, even oftentimes if you buy it online, if it's by the yard, they usually tape the ends just to ensure they don't completely unravel. That's totally normal. You could actually leave the tape on if you wanted and sew right over the top of that tape. But we're going to take it off. And I just want to make sure that I'm going the same direction with my box. 
and I'll do the other side. edges of my twill tape are now sewn. So the next thing I'm going to do is find the middle of my twill tape and place it in the middle of my apron. Now I'm actually going to pin it, but I'm going to pin it maybe about a half an inch from the top, like this. And I'm going to just move down, pin here, just pin the twill tape all the way across just in the same spot now it helps that I have stripes on this material as it helps me line up my twill tape so it's nice and straight if you don't have stripes that's okay you can pull out your ruler and do it that way okay so my twill tapes on now I'm gonna sew it on and I'm gonna sew one stitch along this side of my twill tape and then another stitch along this side of my twill tape just so the tape stays in place. Make sure at the beginning and the end you backstitch and that just locks your stitches in place. Now as you go, just adjust your triple tape or your ribbon so it stays on there nice and straight. It doesn't pucker. So I've got my first stitch on, now I'm going to do the second stitch that's along the bottom edge. Just put my twill tape right into my machine again, forward back stitch, and keep going. There we go. There is our apron. Now you'll turn it around and you can see that I'll tie really nicely in the back. Still have a little bit of a tail, not a crazy amount, but it'll be a fun little apron. This would make a great holiday gift for somebody, a birthday gift. If you have a teen or a child who wants to learn to sew or who wants to learn to cook, it's a great little apron that you can add to your collection. And again, it works really good outside as well. If you have a farm or garden, animals, just keeping things clean. And these types of towels wash really well and hold up and are a lot more durable sometimes than just regular cotton fabrics. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And make sure you subscribe so that you can get all of our great content here at A Frugal Homestead. We'll see you next time.